Do you notice a pattern with customers? Age? Uh, are they a little quirky? Are they chippy? What do you notice? Like, what is common about all the customers? Because it's DVDs. It's not like, I mean, they have to still have a DVD. I don't even, I don't even know if I have a DVD. Do you have a DVD player at your house? I don't even know if I have a DVD player at my house. So <laughs> if I come to you, I almost have to have a DVD player at my house. So what are some of the patterns of customers you're having right now? Well, and, and absolutely. We have a little bit of everything. And, and there for a while, I mean, it, we definitely, the niche was the older customers. I mean, okay. when we were struggling, when the whole company was going under and everybody was struggling, I, I, I know we definitely had a lot more older customers. And, and that makes sense because I can tell you from having, you know, 20 something children <laughs> that they're all about the newest technology. We kind of talked about that a little bit ago. And, uh, you know, we have Netflix at home and I think my son. Wait, did you say 20 something children? Oh, yes. My children. Yes. My youngest will be 20 next month. So it's it's kind of scary. But my children are all in their 20s. My daughter will be 30 in December. So it's kind of scary. Um, so see, now you're now you're definitely aging me here. You, you did it to yourself. <laughs> Don't put it on me. I, 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 I... <laughs> but no, you know, having the, those, them at home, I mean, we do. Again, you know, we have Netflix at home and and I know my son has Hulu and and, you know, we have different streaming services. And and I, I think that, you know, you have to keep you have to let know that that's going to be the case. You know, everybody's always like, oh, how do you compete with those things? And I, I know I'm a little off the topic of what you asked me, but. You can't really compete with that. I mean, that is going to be what it's going to be. I mean, but the thing is, is that instead of trying to compete, you just embrace the fact that it's there and say, okay, well, these customers have Netflix at home, but what do I have that Netflix doesn't have? Well, I have a library here of over 25,000 movies on my shelves. And, you know, and and it may not be 25 different titles, but I have 25,000 movies on the shelf which by the way, I didn't know that till COVID and we did a full inventory. I thought we had closer to like 18, 19. But, um, you know, we still have a, a very large amount of movies. Netflix, you know, they can, um, I'm sure you saw our billboard where we had the called rhythm billboard. So I'm like, okay, what can we do that Netflix can't do? Well, we can give that personal touch to people. We can, you know, they would have to go to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, um, gosh, all the different streaming services. They'd have to have all of those at home to have the same library that I have here. So rather than focusing on what you know, what Netflix has, let's focus on what they don't have. They don't have the variety that I have in the store. So that was one of the things that we kept doing. We have a, a suggestion list for customers. And if I don't have the movie, they tell us what movie they would like for me to see. I search it. Now I don't buy every single movie because as, an, as a um, company, I can't. I mean, if I if I research something, it's $30. Well, that doesn't make any sense for me to bring that title into the store. Even one customer rents it. I'm paying $30 for, you know, two bucks, somebody rents it. I'm not going to make my money back. So I, I need to make sure that I'm, yeah. I'm purchasing things that will be beneficial for the store long term. So there are some times when I have to say no, but customers understand that. And I explain it to them. Be like, you know, unfortunately, it's too much. I can't afford to buy that movie. And Very then a lot of times that customer will be like, well, I'll buy it and I'll just donate it to you. So I can't tell you how many times. Oh, no, I do. We have people donating movies every day. So they'll buy it and they'll watch it and then they'll donate it back because that part of that is that honesty thing that I have with my customers. They know that if I can do it, I will do it. If I can't, then I'm going to tell them I can't. And here's why. And I think that it's that relationship that we've built with our customers that has come back. And part of it was having that older generation during that that struggling period where they appreciated good service. They appreciated my willingness to go out of my way to help them. And they knew that they could always count on me for my honesty. And I think that the older generation really counted on that. And then, and we really kind of fostered um, a really good working relationship with those customers. Um, and then now with the nostalgia piece, we're seeing all those families come back. And it's kind of come full circle. People, you know, they might still, like I said, have Netflix and Hulu and everything else at home, Amazon and Apple and Disney Plus and everything else that's out there. But what they don't have is they don't have that opportunity to get out of their house, to come to Blockbuster with their kids, something they did with their family when they were younger, and have a, just an afternoon where they can go pick a movie. And they can actually, their kids can touch it. It's tangible. They love coming in and picking it up and carrying it around. Something you don't get on Netflix. Hmm. I mean, 
we talked about that with our algorithm. You can go on there and, and you know, I know on, on Netflix and I know yesterday I was looking at something and I didn't realize on under my husband's name instead of my name and he watches every reality show possible. And I'm like, why are all these reality shows on mine? I don't watch those. I mean, it's great that they have their algorithm so they'll tell you what you want. But maybe tonight I do want to watch that. Now I've got to go past all the other crap. I got to remember what I'm on that page. I got to search it or I can just come in here and walk over to the documentaries and pick up a documentary. That's and that's something that we just had to make sure that we focused on what we do have and not what we don't. 